आदि शर्मा सोल्यूशन क्लास ट्वेल्थ चैप्टर फाइव एल्जेब्रा ऑफ मेट्रिस वी आर टेकिंग वेरी शॉर्ट एंसर क्वेश्चन इफ ए इज अ स्क्वायर मेट्रिक सच दैट ए आई जे इज आई स्क्वायर माइनस जे स्क्वायर देन राइट वेदर ए इज सिमेट्रिक और स्क्यू सिमेट्रिक सो दिस इज अ स्क्वायर मेट्रिक कैन बी वन बाय वन टू बाय टू थ्री बाय थ्रू एन बाय एन सो इट इज नॉट गिवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन so we can assume let us assume that it is 2 by 2 we are just assuming it okay and then we'll prove so if we make a 2 by 2 matrix this is first row second row this is first column second column so how do we write a11 a12 that is a21 and a22 first one is row second one is column the subscript so a i j it is so i is the row number j is the column number so these are the row numbers and these are the column numbers so what do we do uh, we will just put i and j one and one here one square minus one square in place of i and j we'll place one and two one square minus two square two and one two square minus one square two square minus two square i and j so what do we get here one square minus one square is zero this two square minus two square will also be zero one square minus two square will be one one minus four that is negative three 2 square minus 4 that is 4 minus 1 is 3 okay this is a now when we take the transpose of this matrix because if a is a transpose it is symmetric a transpose is negative a that is skew symmetric so we have to verify this so a transpose will be what i am changing it to row and column so 0 negative 3 0 3 0 so we have transposed it If I take negative outside, it will be zero minus three minus three and zero. So this is a transpose is negative of a, which is which signifies that this is a skew symmetric matrix. A is skew symmetric. For any square matrix, write whether a into a transpose is symmetric or skew symmetric. So we have just seen. Now we will use this a a t. that is this a into a transpose is that matrix which has to be uh, told whether it is symmetric or skew symmetric okay so a into a transpose so what is the uh, possibility the possibility is that when we take the transpose of this whole if we take say a and b transpose it always will be it will be a transpose b transpose but b transpose will come first That is A B transpose is nothing but B transpose into A transpose. Okay, transpose is nothing but changing rows into column. Okay, so we'll take the transpose of the second one and then A transpose. So what is the transpose of a transpose? When we change row to column, column or to row, it will be same. So transpose of a transpose will be the original matrix. So a transpose transpose is nothing but the original matrix, which is going to be a only. Now this is a transpose. So when we take this a a transpose, when we took the transpose, the same matrix matrix came. That is symmetric matrix. If a a i j is a skew symmetric matrix, then write the value of sigma a i i. Uh, first uh, we are being told that this is skew symmetric so let us assume that we have a matrix say a is our matrix what is that matrix is it, it has two rows and two columns just assume that a11 a12 a21 a22 okay now when we take the transpose what does it mean transpose means row to column row to uh, column to row so this row this row will become column so a11 a12 this will be the first column and the second row Uh, will be second column so a21 a22 that is wherever a12 was there a21 came wherever a12 was there a21 came and wherever a21 was there a12 came so ij was replaced by aji so wherever aij was there aji aji has come right and since it is skew symmetric that is when we take the transpose of a Negative a will come. So a i j and a j i are replacing place, but they are negative. So a i j, because the transpose is negative, so since the places are replaced, the places are replaced by the negative element. 
okay that is when i am changing the position with row and column i will become j j will become i so a i j is going to become a j i but thing is it is negative it is skew symmetric it is a i j and a j i uh, i just have to change that so i when i is uh, and j are equal that is a 11 a 1 a 22 so it is a a i i so let us replace i j by i j by i so a i i on the both sides it will be negative so now take this negative on the left hand side so a i i plus a i i is going to be zero this is 2 a i i is equal to zero that is nothing but a i i equals zero now when a i i is zero you take sigma of any a i i a 1 1 a 2 2 a 3 3 they are all zeros so sigma this this a 1 1 a, a 2 2 a 3 3 so all these are zeros when you add this you will get a zero okay sigma a i i equals zero if a a i j is a skew symmetric matrix then write the value of a i j sigma i j so i just told you about skew symmetric matrix so assume that a matrix a is there when we take the transpose a i j will become a j i ij will become ji because simply row and column we are changing if aij is there minus aji will come because it is a skew symmetric matrix and the question it is given so a if you replace it by ii what will happen it will be simply j replaced by j by i so ai equals negative of ai ai or, or ajj equals minus ajj right so i just told you about the matrix so if you replace it, it will be if we take on the left hand side a two twice of a i i equals zero. So a i i will be equal to zero. So this is what we got. Now when we add it, it will be the addition of all the elements of the matrix. Okay. So when we take the sigma i j of a i j, it can i can be any number, j can be any number. So we cannot fix it, but we can generalize it. For example, this is a11, a12, a21, a22. So this sigma is nothing but a11 plus a12 plus a21 plus a22. This is what we are adding. This is just 2 by 2. It can be n by n matrix, n by n matrix, whichever. So a11, a12, like this it goes. Then this is this is a11 till a1n. And we have a112 a n1 that is a11 a1 will be, will be there a11 will be there a21 will be there a12 will be there a13 will be there a31 will be there so we'll not stop we'll just uh, uh, give the ellipses dot 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 but you see that this all this a i i are equal to zero we just uh, saw in the previous question and this question also so all this a11 a22 a33 are are zeros and also, every element a i j is negative of a j i. That is, a one two is negative of a two one. A one three is negative of a three one. So they will cancel out. Nothing will remain. All these are going to be either zeros or they are going to cancel out. So final result will be nothing but zero. I hope you got the idea. A one three, a three one are negative of each other. So finally, zero will come. If A and B are symmetric matrices, then write the condition for which A into B is also symmetric. So the whole matrix is given A B, but also given A is symmetric. A is symmetric, that is A transpose will come as A. B is also symmetric, so B transpose will come as B. Okay. Now write the condition for which A B is also symmetric. A B will be symmetric when A B transpose is going to be A B. Same thing will come. Okay, so I just told you when we take the transpose of two values, it will be B transpose into A transpose. You can write this as B transpose dot A transpose. Okay, B transpose A transpose. B transpose is already given as B. A transpose is already given as A. So B A is equal to A B. Please remember when you multiply matrix A dot B B dot A, they are not equal. But the case here is. In order to be this to be symmetric, AB to be symmetric, BA has to be equal to AB. 
If B is a skew symmetric matrix, write whether the matrix A B A transpose is symmetric or skew symmetric. So we have to take A B A transpose as a single matrix. That is, we have to prove whether this A B A T is symmetric or skew symmetric. So this A B A transpose, if it is symmetric. If you take the transpose of this, it, it should come the same, same matrix. Okay, I just have to put a transpose there. If this matrix A, B, A, T transpose, if you take the transpose, if it comes as negative of itself, A, B, A, T. So, we will we'll say it is a uh, skew symmetric. So, so, as I said, we are taking transpose. So, let us take the transpose now and see what is going to come and what we can utilize. So A, B and A transpose, transpose we are taking. Now, I told you already A, B transpose was what? B transpose, A transpose. If we introduce C also here, it will be C transpose, B transpose, A transpose. So first this transpose, A transpose, transpose, then B transpose, then A transpose. Okay. So this Transpose of a transpose is the original matrix. If you take the transpose of a transpose, row to column and column to row, again same matrix will come, so A will come. This is A. This B transpose is given in the question as skew symmetric. So skew symmetric means B transpose is going to be a negative of B. You just write negative of B. And this is going to be A transpose. This remains same. So what do you get? When you took the transpose of this, you got a negative of that thing which is in which is in implication that this is a skew symmetry. Same question we are doing but here B is a symmetric matrix. Same thing we are doing okay. We will do the same thing we will because here I said if it is this B transpose was ne negative B then only it was skew symmetric. But when B transpose is going to be positive the positive will come. So first condition would have been uh, true. So this is this would have been symmetric. So I hope you'll be able to do right. If A is a skew symmetric and N belongs to capital N such that A raise N to the power T is equal to lambda A raise N, write the value of lambda. So we'll take one by one. Step by step we'll take. First thing is given as A is a skew symmetric. Skew symmetric means if you take the transpose of A, it is going to be negative A. First thing, coming to this one, A raise N to the power, uh, to transpose. So T is not the power, T is just a transpose. So if you take the power of A and then transpose or if you take the transpose and then take the power, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So you can, you are just changing to row and column and then up, applying the power. So it doesn't matter when you do the transpose first or later. So you will do just take the A transpose and then take the power. So this A transpose is what? This is already given as negative A. This is given as negative A because it is a skew symmetry matrix. So negative A raise N and this is given in the question as lambda A to the power N minus A raise N can be written as minus 1 to the power N and A raise N. Because minus 3 raise 10 for example can be written as minus 1 raise 10 and 3 raise 10. So minus 1 raise n and a raise n. So this is equal to what? Lambda a raise to power n. So this gets cancelled. Lambda will be equal to minus 1 to the power n. This is the value of lambda. If a is a symmetric matrix and n belongs to capital N, n write whether a raise n is symmetric or skew symmetric or neither of these two. So this question and next question are same, almost same. Just very carefully listen to me what I am saying. A transpose is equal to A because it is symmetric matrix. It is given. Now we have to find whether A raise N is symmetric or non-symmetric. So A raise N to the power T. It is not power T. It is only transpose. So it is equal to A N if it is symmetric. I am just saying. If you take the transpose and it comes negative A raise N. Then it is Q symmetric. These two are very important. Now let us come to back to the question. Only A raise T equals A is given. So the step is like this. We will take the transpose. 
so as i told you if you take the power and they do the transpose or if you do the transpose and then take the power it doesn't matter so you can write a raise n t this one so a raise a raise n transpose is can be written as a transpose to the power n okay t is not the power so a raise t to the power n and this is a t is got given what it is a so you can replace it by a, a raise n so as i said when you took the transpose and the final result is a raise n there are two options which i gave it is symmetric because it is just positive power same thing here in this question also we are doing the same question but 28 or 29 are very important because here specifically even natural number is given okay so even natural number next question will have uh, odd number so what is the criteria see here because 27th question we have to reapply but here we have to put the negative sign and positive sign how do, how does it work a is a skew symmetric matrix that means a transpose is going to be negative a this is skew symmetric first condition and is an even natural number that we'll use later whether a is n is symmetric or skew symmetric or neither of these two so a is n if we take the transpose and if it comes as a is n that is this is going to be the symmetric a is n transpose if it is going to be negative of a is n that is going to be skew symmetric right so let us start the steps now so we have to take the transpose a raise n uh, transpose so you can replace t by n because you know if you do the transpose and then raise n or raise n and take the transpose doesn't matter so this is going to be what a transpose and raise n since a raise t is already given as negative a so you can write it write it as negative a a raise to n how can you write this this is negative 1 of n and a raise n see now minus 1 to the power n n is even natural number minus 1 to the power 2 4 8 like this 16 so this always will be positive minus 1 to the power 2 is what it is plus 1 so this will always be a raise n that is that is only possible when this is symmetric matrix when it is odd natural number it is going to be a skew symmetry because always ne negative one will come okay same thing in this question as i just told you this is given as odd natural number so i told you that if this n comes even it will be even that is it will be a symmetric matrix but if n is odd it will give us negative number so it will be skew symmetry same thing you have to do right same thing but only thing is minus one raise n n is because it is odd it is always be negative and it is a skew symmetric bit. Okay, this question will take in the next discussion. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.